Welcome back to Arise News Now, coming to you live from Nigeria's capital, Abuja. I'm Charles Anya Golden out of sport. And what next for David Hay after that career threatening defeat by Tony the Bomber Bellew last night? Bellew stopped the Hay makeup in the 11th round, casting doubt over his boxing career. Hay injured his right ankle in the sixth round and sustained severe damage to his Achilles before the Bomber forced an 11th round stoppage. But Hay has confirmed his desire to return to the ring and ideally against the bomber. After the fight, Tony Bellew spoke about his respect for his tough opponent. He gets an awful lot of admiration for me from a sportsman's perspective. He's a brilliant athlete. He's been a special fighter. He's an amazing fighter. I mean, he's fast, he's powerful, he's explosive. I mean, he looks a million dollars. He got in that ring tonight and I was just thinking, this looks like the Michelin man against Muscle Mountain. Amazing. He just looks fantastic, don't he? he, he he's, he's, an Ad he's an Adonis and he's had his hair done, he looks pretty. And amazing. You know, he just looks better than me, mate. He does, really does. But I'm, I say this all the time, and I've said it enough times, his bodies don't win fights, mate. His decision to leave Alexis Sanchez out of the starting lineup in their 3 1 loss to Liverpool. The Gunners manager brought on his top scorer at half time and with his side 2 0 down sanchez provided the pass for danny welbeck's goal well i don't think it's a need to go into any individual explanation uh, what was good in our second half was our collective performance what was not good in our in the first half was our co collective performance and uh, that's for me much more rational explanation than all the rest Look, the thinking was that uh, we had to go more direct and I uh, wanted to play uh, two players with a uh, uh, strong in the air who, uh, because we decided to go more direct and uh, after that uh, uh, to bring uh, Alexis Sanchez on in the second half. Now, elsewhere in the Premier League, there was plenty of shock and many surprises during Saturday's fixtures. Gavin Ramjohn has more. Big news and high drama from the Premier League on Saturday. Manchester United missed the chance to go third. Jose Mourinho's uh, men were involved in a combustible match at Old Trafford. 1-1 it finished in their game against Bournemouth. Uh, tempers frayed before half-time when Tyrone Mings was elbowed by Zlatan Ibrahimovic minutes after the defender had stamped on the Manchester United striker's head. In the melee that followed, Andrew Sermon received a second yellow for pushing and was eventually sent off. Ibrahimovic uh, later elbowed Elbowed Mings in an aerial collision, but Mourinho uh, played down the combat after the match. United, though, uh, then had a penalty in the second half, but Ibrahimovic's spot kick was saved well by Boric. A chance missed then for United to gain ground on the leaders and to catch the top four, but it's now 17 matches unbeaten for United, and they already have some silverware this season with the EFL Cup, so things are looking good for them. In the days of the games, Sam Allardyce and Crystal Palace ruined uh, Tony Pulis's day. The West Brom uh, boss beaten soundly uh, by goals from Wilfred Zaha and Andros Townsend for Crystal Palace. Both goals, two of the best you'll see all season. Also, Liverpool beat Arsenal 3-1. And it also appears uh, there is absolutely no hangover for Leicester City after the club sacked Claudio Ranieri. Uh, the Foxes uh, pulled further away from trouble with a 3-1 win against fellow strugglers Hull. This time last year, the fairy tale was only just beginning as the club uh, went on to lift the title. And worth a mention too about Andy Murray, the world number one is now unlikely to be toppled from the summit of the world rankings until at least after the French Open. Uh, Murray cruised to victory in Dubai, beating Fernando Vadasco to lift his first trophy of the year and he's now 2,000 ranking points ahead of Novak Djokovic. Uh, his next challenge, the Indian Wells event in California. Gavin Ramjohn there now to tennis and Andy Murray has reacted after winning his first Dubai duty-free tennis championships, revealing plans to skydive with his team to celebrate their victory in the tournament. Yeah, it's obviously nice to, to win again. Uh, you know, have managed to, to win this one before I played here quite a few times so yeah obviously good to get the first title of the year and uh, yeah keep, hopefully keep the momentum going the next few weeks. We had an agreement that if I won this week that we were going to do a, a team skydive um, and Jamie Delgado is the only one who's sort of tapped out of it he said he's not going to do it but um, we're hoping that we can convince him so need need to put a bit, bit of pressure on him. 
to golf where Justin, uh, Justin Thomas made a hole in one and surged into the lead with a five under 66 in the third round of the World Golf Championships in Mexico. He tops the final group with Dustin Johnson and Rory McIlroy set to join him. Yeah, I had, uh, had 239 hole and a comfortable six iron for me this week. It's been going about 232, 235 and uh, I felt like it was just fractionally into the wind, but we were trying to land it about six to eight paces short, uh, just kind of before it, it goes down a little bit. And it, it was a little bit into the wind, so I knew it was just a good, smooth six iron. And um, it was really one of the few times today I had a, a good yard, a good number. I kept being in between a lot. So I just uh, tried to put a confident swing on it, and I, I just absolutely flushed it. And it was, uh, it was cool to see the gallery go nuts up there. Well, to entertainment news now, and One Direction star Lewis Tomlinson has been arrested for attacking a photographer at Los Angeles International Airport. The incident happened on Friday after Tomlinson arrived on a flight with his girlfriend Eleanor Calder. The altercation took place when the photographer was, asking, was asked to stop filming after the alleged scuffle. The photographer made a citizen's arrest on Tomlinson. He was later released and a court date set for the end of March. Now, Madonna's four-year-old twin girls have been showing off their music skills in a video posted online. They appear to be settling in well after the Malawian sisters were adopted in February. The 58-year-old artist shared a photo of herself laying on the grass outside her L.A. home with the girls who were dressed in coordinating pink and white tops. She also showed off her new daughter's growing love of music as the girls reportedly named Stella and Esther rocked out on a piano and a drum. Let's take a listen. good enough for me. Historical Drama 76 was the biggest winner at the 5th Africa Magic Viewers Choice Awards in Lagos. The movie was nominated 14 times and went on to win five awards, including Best Picture, Best Director and Best Actress. 76 was closely followed by Oloi Biri, which won three categories, and Vaya, which scooped two awards. Ambasa and Ziribe, star of Slow Country, won Best Actor, and also the actor Samuel Ajibola provided a comedy acceptance speech. Well, congratulations to them all. That's it for this edition of Arise News Now. Do stay with us. Plenty more still ahead on the channel. Bye-bye. There is a reason Africa is called the new frontier. What was once potential is now an opportunity ready to be seized. Once revered for our resources, today's wealth lies in our people. People who build the cities that shape the future. People who know an idea in one place means business in another. A generation for whom technology means there are no borders, no boundaries. We are the new lions in a brave new world. Kings of the urban jungle. And there's a bank that puts the world in our pocket and the future in our hands. UBA, Africa's global bank.